Hi, I'm Lily. Today, I'm going to read you a story. Yuna's Cardboard Castles. Okay, let's read it. Yuna's Cardboard Castles. Okay, let's read it. Yuna watched her mom and dad ford, fit, and tug all things into new spaces. She wondered how she fit into her new home. Yuna longed for the colors and shapes of her old home. She didn't speak the language other kids spoke, not yet, at least, but she could do something very special with paper. Yuna folded, fit, tucked, and blew air into paper pouches. Very soon, she had a basket full of colorful boards, but the other kids had boards of their own, so she tried something else. In her new home, houses sat like giant lumps of bread on beds of grass. There were no pointy building or rice cake stands. Yuna found an empty cardboard box and a pair of scissors. She cut, bent, and shaped the box. But she didn't have the words to explain why she, what she was selling. And the other kids went back to their tea parties. Yuna kept cutting, tucking, and folding until paper and cardboard became the world all around her. When corrugated crayons flew, crayons flew through a rainbow sky, and origami boats sailed across pots, cones of paper ponces. Yuna's cardboard castle reached high into the sky, but something was missing. The children in her new home seemed too far away. Yuna tucked her head under a paper pillow, then crash, crumble, clunk. In the tangle of string of paper was one of the neighborhood boys. Kites? I call it a supersonic weather measure. Yuna didn't quite understand his words, but she recognized his paper creation. With a wave and a nod, she showed the boy what she'd made. Together, they built a cardboard weather tower. They exclaimed the wind and checked the force under, lightning and tornadoes. Yuna and her new friend had another idea. Together they cut, tucked, and folded. Look, look, before before Yuna was alone, she made some oh, she made some boards on her own. Like this. Oh. Okay, and next she made some boats, origami boats, or something like this. But now with this boy, they made this weather, weather measure, and some new things too. Before long, the neighborhood kids were zipping through their cardboard ward. Many of the children stopped for a snack. Some even tried sushi. And although Yuna didn't speak the language the other kids spoke, she sort of did. So, this author's note, when I was very young, my family and I moved from Hong, Hong Kong to the United States. I was sad to leave my friends, my extended family, and my favorite things behind, but the thought of a new place and new friends excited me. However, when I arrived in America, it was nothing like I had imagined it would be, and like you know, I didn't speak English, the language that seemed to connect everyone in my new home. I wanted more than anything to play with the neighborhood kids, but they hardly noticed me. Shy as I was, I faded into the background, so I took what I had and started to create imaginary words from origami paper and cardboard moving boxes. Little by little, the neighborhood kids took notice. Some came to investigate, and eventually I found a place among a group of kids who became my first childhood friends. English came slowly, but the language of play bound us together. I learned from them, and they learned from me. Together, our cardboard and origami creation pretend opened our eyes to the great big world we live in. So what is this origami thing? If you're ever seeing people fold it into the shape of an animal, boat, box, flower, or any number of things, you were probably looking at a work of origami. Origami is an ancient 
or to have paper 40. It has been around since paper was invented more than a thousand years ago. The magic of origami is what you don't need, what is that you don't need glue or scissors to create these many words of word. You just need some paper. Forty techniques transform a square or rectangular piece of paper into a 3D shape. Origami is a practice in patience. The fine motor skills and creative, it will help you develop important skills that can be used in math, art, science, and making some new friends. So, this Yuna's origami creations to life in this Wismaker book where the language of play can bridge the language burial and build some new friendships. Okay, today we're just story Yuna's cardboard castles. And And these days I'm reading the books that the pictures is very nice. Yeah, like yesterday I read my words full away like birds. And okay, today I read your story, you know, it's cardboard castles. And today is Friday and have a happy weekend. And bye, thank you for watching. And have a good time with your family. And I want to give a try to make new friends in a new place with this origami thing. And some people go too. And this and and the end of at the end of this book, there is a directions how to make a boat. And I want to give a try on it. Bye, thank you for watching.